Good day everyone. We'll be creating a foreign key using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio this week or also known as the SSMS. So just a quick little summary. As everyone knows, every table must have a primary key. Without a primary key, it's not a valid table. By definition, a primary key must be unique and must have a value, which is definitely not null. Now in order to connect two tables, the primary key is then replicated from the primary key to secondary table and now all the key attributes duplicated from the primary table are now known as the foreign key. Now foreign key constraints identify and enforce the relationships between tables. And a foreign key constraint does not have to be linked only to a primary key constraint in another table. It can also be defined to reference the columns of a unique constraint in another table. Now, a foreign key constraint can contain null values. However, if any column of a composite foreign key constraint contains null values, verification of all values that make up the foreign key constraint is skipped. To make sure that all values of a composite foreign key constraint are verified, specify not null on all the participating columns. Let's go ahead and jump into our SSMS and look at creating a foreign key constraint. Okay guys, let's go ahead and select a table. We'll just go ahead and pick the Human Resources Employee table again. Hit Design. From our menu bar, we're going to select Table Designer and then select Relationships. Now let's go ahead and just select one of these relationships here. We'll do uh, Department History. We'll select Tables and Columns Specification here. You see we have our primary table as employee human resources and our foreign key table employee department history. And we've got our field selected here as business entity ID. That's all we need once we've completed adding our foreign key table information. We're going to go ahead and click OK to close our dialog box. And we'll just select close and you can hit the file save all button to finish creating your newly created constraint bison. That's it. So thanks for following this lesson for creating our uh, foreign key constraint. And there it's completed. Alright guys, have a great day and See you again on the next lesson.